Welcome to Casio Middle East tutorial session. Our lesson today is about real numbers. What are real numbers? Real numbers are divided into categories, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. What are natural numbers? Natural numbers are counting numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Whole numbers are counting numbers starting with 0. So whole numbers, as an example of whole numbers, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Integers are whole numbers and their opposites. For example, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. What about rational numbers? Rational numbers are numbers that can be made by dividing two integers with each other. Example, 2 over 3, 1 over 6, 3 over 8, 1 over 2, negative 2 over 1, 5 over 1, etc. While irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be made by dividing two integers and are not terminating decimals nor repeating decimals. Example, radical 2, radical 7, pi, and e. As you can see here from the figure, natural numbers are subsets of whole, and whole are subsets of integers, and integers are subset of rational, and rational are subset of real, while irrationals are subset of real. There is no intersection between irrational numbers and rational numbers. An application on real numbers. In this section, we will use Casio FX 9 and 1 EX to check our answers. Question 1. We have square root 32 minus 2 square root 32 over square root 32 is a whole number. I need to check if it's true or false. First, input the numerical expression into the calculator. First, click press menu, then press 1. Now, I press the fraction bar, then input the numerical expression. Move the cursor to the right, then press minus 2 square root of 32. I press the cursor down, square root 32, then press equal. The answer shown is negative 1, which is not a whole number, then the answer is false. Now, let's check the second example. In the second example, we have 24 minus 2 power 3 plus 2 radical 16 over 8 radical 2 minus square root 128 plus square root of 2. Now we'll input the a numerical expression in the calculator. First, click the fraction bar. 24 minus 2 power 3. Move the cursor to the right. Plus 2 square root 16. Move the cursor down. 8 radical 2. Move the cursor right. Minus square root 128. Move also the cursor right. Plus radical 2. Click equal. The answer we got is 12 radical 2. 12 radical 2 is not a rational number. It is an irrational number. So the answer here is also false. The third example, we have 3 pi minus 2 radical 9 plus 6 minus 3 pi. Now we'll input the same numerical expression in the calculator. We'll get 3 shift pi minus 2 square root of 9 move the cursor to the right, plus 6, 
minus 3 in order to get pi we will activate it by using shift key press shift then times 10 power x it will post pi then click equal the answer is 0 0 is a whole number so my work is true properties of real numbers in this section we will explain three main properties for real numbers the commutative property associative property and distributive property for the commutative property the description of commutative property when we add numbers order does not matter and when we multiply numbers also no order doesn't matter for associative property when we add three numbers it doesn't matter which two we add first and also when we multiply the three numbers it doesn't matter which two we are multiplying first for the distributive property when we multiply a number by a sum of two numbers we get the same result as we would get if we multiply the number by each of the terms and then add the results in the second section we will discover more about commutative property associative property and distributive property in this section we will talk in details about commutative property and associative property commutative property if you are adding two numbers a plus b then a plus b equal b plus a since order in addition doesn't matter for example 2 plus 7 is the same as 7 plus 2 both sides will give an answer of 9 also this rule apply in multiplication for instance a times b is the same as b times a for example 2 times 7 is the same as 7 plus 2 because both sides will give an answer of 14 the right side and the left side will give an answer of 14 example of associative property if we are adding three terms order of parentheses doesn't matter for example a plus b in parentheses plus t is the same as a plus parentheses b plus c for example 2 plus 7 in parentheses plus 3 is the same as 2 plus open parentheses 7 plus 3 if we simplify each side alone we will get 12 and 12 so both sides are equal also this rule apply in multiplication a times b times c is the same as a times c times b for example 2 times 7 in parentheses times 3 is the same as 2 times parentheses 7 times 3 in both cases and both sides we will get an answer of 42 example on distributive properties it means to remove the parentheses first we distribute the number multiplied by the parentheses to each term inside the parentheses for example in part a we distribute 2 to x and 2 to 3 so i will get 2 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by 3 so the final answer is 2x plus 6 if we are multiplying two binomials by each other we will distribute the first parenthesis to each term in the second parenthesis so a plus b it will be multiplied by x and a plus b will also be multiplied by y now the second step is to distribute x to each term in the parenthesis containing a and b so we'll get a multiplied by x plus b multiplied by x plus then I will do the same way distribute y to each term in a plus b parentheses so I will get a multiplied by y plus b multiplied by y so the final answer will be ax plus bx plus ay plus by an application on properties of real numbers take two minutes to answer the following questions you may pause the video for two minutes For question 1, 
x plus 2 equal 2 plus x is an example of commutative property. Question 2, 3 times 9 equal 9 times 3 is an example of commutative property also. 5 into x plus 3 equal 5x plus 15 is an example of distributive property. Question 4, x minus 2 equal 2 minus x is an example of neither of the above. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.